Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 32nd episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. To start off, I wanted to talk about the story that's the most interesting, or at least that seems the most intriguing right now, and that's the new Wi-Fi technology called 802.22. Now, IEEE is the company that actually oversees the development of all Wi-Fi technology, and they announced this, and the most surprising thing is that you can connect to this Wi-Fi from up to 60 miles away. Now, it uses television bands to broadcast its signal, and what's surprising is that it doesn't interfere with TV stations broadcasting whatsoever. And this new type of technology is capable to transfer up to 22 megabytes per second, over that 60 mile range, which is absolutely amazing when you think about how far 60 miles really is. Now this technology might outdate cellular data plans because it's more cost efficient and you will probably be able to get faster data speeds over it as well. Moving on, a new report suggests that the iPhone 5 will launch within the first two weeks of September and that does actually match up with what we've been hearing lately from last week's stories about how Apple is increasing their staff and how AT&T is requiring that all of their staff take iPhone training courses. So again, this does match up and it does seem that the iPhone 5 will be making an appearance on September. Also something that aligns with this is that AT&T will be throttling data speeds for the top 5% data users. And that means basically if you're within the top five data users on AT&T, then you will see slower 3G speeds. Now this will start October 1st. And again, that's about two weeks after the supposed release of the iPhone 5 and that would make perfect sense. They're expecting a lot of users to upgrade or to actually join AT&T altogether after the release of Apple's fifth generation iPhone. Now moving on to a rather interesting story. Supposedly someone was heading home from San Francisco, California, and another person took a picture of them with what looked like an iPhone 5. Now, I'm a little skeptical of this story for a couple of different reasons, but the main reason obviously is just that the picture is extremely pixelated and it's super blurry so you can't really take much from the picture also it looks like it could just be a case mod but some people still think that it is actually an iPhone 5 or an iPhone prototype of sorts also we will be seeing face recognition in iOS 5 thanks to Apple's 2010 purchase of a company called polar rose now they specialize in face detection APIs and basically that allows for super accurate face recognition, face detection, and face matching. So in the video demonstration, it can detect faces using advanced software and it only takes about a second to differentiate one face from another. So this will be extraordinary if Apple can include this in iOS 5 and it will make it really easy to have multiple account profiles on a single device. And speaking of devices on Apple's website, if you actually caught it, it was at their iTunes section. On the iPod Touch, it actually had the 3G logo and it didn't seem to be a mistake until Apple actually took it down. But what's interesting is that they left it up on their international site. So for instance, if you go to apple.com forward slash AU for Australia and then forward slash iTunes, it will take you to that picture and it still has the 3G logo there with the bars. Whereas if you go to apple.com forward slash iTunes, which is just the standard US site, you will see it, that it's now Wi-Fi. Now a lot of people were saying that this is just a picture of an iPhone, however you can easily tell the difference between an iPhone and an iPod Touch in the picture. First of all, there isn't a top speaker on the iPod Touch. Second of all, you can obviously tell due to the more rounded corners and the sleeker profile of the iPod Touch and there's just no comparison. So it seems like Apple either made a slip up or they intentionally left it there. Also, if you guys want to unlock your iPhone 4 on iOS 4.3.5, then I did make a tutorial on that and you guys can check it out. And finally, I just wanted to wrap this up by saying that Microsoft openly made fun of Google's Gmail services with a video that's up on YouTube. Now, the whole point of this video is to inform people that Gmail scans through your emails for keywords, and then it targets you with advertisements for those keywords. Now, there's really no comparison between Microsoft's Office 365 
and Google's Gmail services because Gmail is free, whereas Microsoft Office you have to pay for. So obviously Google can't really afford to have the luxury of not delivering relevant ads to you because again, they are providing it for free, whereas Microsoft is charging for their cloud services. So I hope you guys like this video. Remember you can find links to everything I talked about down below in the more info. Be sure to rate this video up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna be notified every time I release a new video. And I will also include links to my Twitter accounts and Facebook page down below in the more info. You can follow my Twitter accounts and like my Facebook page to be updated more often. And again, I hope you guys liked this video. Until next time, this is ICU signing out.